Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades back with another weekly analysis video. Start off with the indices as usual. Take a look at SPY first. So really nice bounce off that 427 level this week. And uh, we got a pretty nice rally, but really weak close. So let's take a look at the daily chart again. So yeah, we had a really nice rally and we were flagging here nicely. But on Friday, we did give back a good amount of gains. So um, not the best action, but not bad either. So if we take out that this mini trend line here, there's a very good chance that we could uh, continue to see the next leg up. So yeah, we'll see what happens next week. But overall, not bad action. Now let's take a look at QQQ. Go to the weekly chart first. So QQQ is building out this bigger uh, bull flag here, so that this is good action. And it tried to break out uh, the 370 level, and it tried to break out of the uh, bigger bull flag, but it failed here. Um, so that's not great. But let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, definitely a bigger pullback here, right? Um, not as orderly. So there is a mini bull flag forming here. Let me remove these. So there is still a mini bull flag forming here. And if it can take that out, that would be bullish. But right now, it looks more like we're back in this chop range. But if we take out 370, then I would definitely be bullish on the market. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got for the indices. And now let's take a look at some big cap tech stocks. Start off with NVIDIA. Nvidia rejected 470. We had a really nice rally, and then it rejected 470. So that's um, yeah. Friday was really ugly, pretty nasty pullback. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart looks fine. Looks like we're just consolidating between this uh, 430 to 470 range. So uh, no big deal. It looks like um, it could just go sideways for a bit longer. Or if we take that 470 level out, then you definitely want to be bullish on this stock. But yeah. That's in video. Next up, Amazon. Let's take a look at Amazon's weekly. So Amazon weekly trying to reclaim this uh, um, uptrend level. Uh, it tried to reclaim it, but ended up closing below. So that's not a good sign. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, let me let me remove all my lines on Amazon. And redraw it. So Amazon definitely has a key support level over there definitely resistance around there and there's definitely another level over here so 131 is where it tried to hold and then it ended up closing below that on friday right so there's a gap up here so if we can reclaim 131 then then, it, then we have room up to 135 and if we can uh take out 135 then we got room to 142 but yeah these are the key levels on amazon next up apple let me remove everything as well for Apple. Draw new lines because it's been a while. So Apple definitely has some trend line resistance here. Um, let's take a look at some price levels. Definitely has some support over there. And another level around this uh, area. Um, let's see, what else does Apple have? Yeah, really not that many levels past that. I'd say there's one level here, and then another level at the top. But yeah, these are the key levels for Apple. So Apple tried to break out at that trend line, yeah, it touched it and then rejected. But if it can consolidate and hold above that 180 level, this would be bullish action. And um, yeah, I would be bullish on Apple as long as it can hold that 180 level. But yeah, that's what I got for Apple. Next up, Tesla. So Tesla's forming this really nice bull flag here. Um, formed a nice bull flag and then it broke out but failed. Uh, and now it's just back in consolidation. This has earnings next week, so definitely don't be trying to trade this. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Really nice weekly bull flag here. So yeah, we'll see what happens with Tesla. Next up, Microsoft. Microsoft has a nice uh, bull flag forming on the weekly chart. Let's go to the daily chart tried to break out of the bull flag and it actually did close above the bull flag so that's a big positive for sure so microsoft is holding up pretty well actually if, if it can take out that 333 level then very good chance that we could see a move back up to 344 so uh, uh yeah microsoft's holding up pretty well here next up meta meta made new 52 week highs last week so very impressive action 
um, yeah, new 52 week highs here and it pulled back in pretty hard on Friday but uh, overall still still good action so let me redraw my levels definitely key resistance over there and there was some resistance over here and it finally broke out I was pulling back in again um, but yeah these are the key levels for meta so key support is 307 and key resistance is 326 and it could just chop around here for quite some time so we'll see what happens um, and there's also trend line forming new trend line forming around here so yeah overall meta is acting really well and it's yeah I think it's the only big cap uh, tech stuff to make new 52 week highs last week so definitely very bullish on meta oh wait Google actually also made new 52 week highs but yeah All right, let's take a look at Google so Google has key resistance level over there Google's actually acting a lot better uh, recently uh, key support level over here key resistance over here and it's trying to hold that 139 level so if it can hold that would be very bullish and if we can hold that 139 level then next support would be that 145 ish and then all time highs back at 150 so Google's holding up really well here and it's actually still holding up it's uh it's, made, it's still holding its uptrend so really good action here in Google um but yeah next up we'll take a look at AMD AMD has been forming this really long uh, bull flag here and it's trying to break out uh, let's take a look at the daily chart so yeah it tried to break out but it failed so this was a little flag that was forming um, and uh, it got rejected pretty hard on Friday but still holding up relatively well if it can take out that this mini bull flag then I would definitely be bullish on AMD um, but overall it's acting pretty well Netflix so this one's acting really really uh, bad uh, it's been yeah it's been really weak recently so this is the one that if you're looking to short a big cap tech stock this would be the one it's acting really weak right um, but yeah Netflix has room let's see let's see where the next level of support is for Netflix uh, so definitely keep resistance over there there's some support over here uh, I would say support level 319 and then another support level would be yeah around that 345 ish so yeah Netflix has room down to 345 and if it forms a bear flag then this would be a good opportunity to short down to 345 yeah that's it for Netflix and now let's take a look at um ARKK let me remove this alert Um, so ARKK is looking pretty pretty bearish here um, has that 37.6 support level if that gets taken out then it could go a lot lot lower um, and they rejected that 40 level earlier this week so that's not good at all um, let's take a look at the weekly chart yeah if it fails to hold that 37.66 level has room all the way down to 35.75 ish but uh, yeah ARKK still looks really really weak here and uh, yeah it's having a lot of trouble holding its ground um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the big cap tech stocks and growth names so growth names I would still see are looking pretty bearish here so um, yeah now let's take a look at some of the best uh, stocks that have been holding up and the best opportunities for next week um, so to start off well, let's do CrowdStrike this is a name that I talked about last week as well, but this name has been acting incredibly well. Really strong breakout last week and uh, really nice follow through and now it's forming a really nice uh, flag here. Look at that volume, up volume and on the down volume, very light volume. So this is very, very good action. Um, so ideally you want to see crush strike consolidate for a couple more days and then form a bull flag and then this could be a top watch. Um, but yeah, Palantir, very similar. Uh, really nice breakout and now it's starting to form a flag here and if it breaks that flag it could be a viable setup but um, yeah Palantir um, it's looking really good here and ideally it breaks that trend line uh, next up ACMR so this is a semiconductor name um, this one has been acting really well all year long 
um, really nice rally starting from like May uh, till now and uh, yeah this one's been acting really well clear resistance at that uh, highs 19.7 uh, level and that $20 psychological level so definitely a lot of resistance there but the reason I really like this chart is because uh, it has a lot of nice accumulation volume so look at those big skyscraper volume right uh, that's that's a very bullish sign um, and uh, yeah it's been holding up really well recently and I think it has a chance to make a big move but yeah that's ACMR and next up NVO speaking of big volume this one has skyscraper volume this is a sign that institutions are loading up into this stock this stock's definitely one that you want to pay attention to this one does trade really funky it gaps up and gaps down but uh, yeah really really nice volume here this is a clear sign that institutions are buying the stock and on the weekly it looks great it broke uh, it's making new 52 week highs and it's been trending for quite some time now and stocks that tend to trend continue to trend so this is a stock that is definitely one that you want to keep your eyes on next up lly this is another stock that had an incredible run this year and uh, now it's starting to uh it made a really nice snapback rally from this pullback really strong rally and now it got to menu to highs and now it's starting to pull back here and get extended so you want to see some sort of consolidation and uh, yeah that 600 level could be a good buy the dip area um and also really nice volume on that push up and last but not least knf so this is a new ipo stock um made a really strong run and then formed the flag here a really long flag uh yeah really long flag here and then it broke out and now it's been consolidating for, for quite some time and now it's forming a really nice uh, flag setup here so right under that 53 sec uh resistance level it's forming a really nice flag here so this one looks like a top watch as well but yeah that's all i got for this week thank you guys for tuning in there's a reason why xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas with over 2.5 million dollars paid in the last two years to contributors users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time if you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today completely free of charge